Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Chopper. Today we're going to be talking about Zetsubo no Shima, and we have even more info. We're going to be going over all the info that we have currently, and we actually can get a pretty good idea of this map, what we're going to see, what the Easter egg's going to be like and everything, and what kind of the themes and the why it's going to be a scary map. So let's go ahead and get into this. Right off the bat, Jason Blundell said that this is one of the scariest zombies maps to date. The gameplay you're actually seeing right now is Shinonuma. And if you guys never played this, this is a map from World at War. If you guys never played this map, for me, this is one of the scariest just because of the themes and the actual backstory that I know about it behind it. And it's just a very eerie and kind of creepy looking place. You know that there's something going on there. Uh, you, what you know, you know something's behind the scene that's going on that you don't quite see on the surface. But that's why it's a scary map to me. This and Mob of the Dead are probably the scariest. Now, I feel like this map is also going to relate to Mob of the Dead, but we will get into that in a second. So, Jason Jason Blundell said this is going to feature very disturbing themes with uh, perversions of nature. So we're going to see extremely messed up animals and zombies and things like that. Probably some experiments gone gone wrong. Experiments from Division 9. Probably experimenting on dogs or even spiders we're supposed to see in this map. So we're going to see some insane animals. I know that for a fact. We're going to see some also different kinds of zombies. Jason did confirm that in, her, in the interview. He said, are we going to see any different types of zombies besides just the standard ones? And he said that definitely, most definitely there is a different kind. So we are going to be seeing some new zombies which is pretty cool so the next thing we have is the sewer system now in the description of this map it talks about ways to transport there's a zip line and a sewer system and i want to focus on the sewer real quick because you guys remember in exo zombies uh the map i forget about uh, the burger town map i forget quite what it was called you that shows how much i played exo zombies but this map uh the sewer system you could not see anything in there but it was essential to the easter egg so i feel like this is going to be essential to the easter egg as well i'm sure it has a higher purpose than just traveling i don't know that's just my opinion let me know what you guys think about that now in terms of the story we have actually been introduced Introduced to Division 9. We've actually seen them in game now or from that trailer from that cutscene the opening intro to the map We've actually seen Division 9 and we are going to the Division 9 facility on this island now I think that we are going to have to kill Takio 1.0 for the end of the Easter egg I'm feeling that's what the end of result is going to be not sure on the steps how to get there But I feel like this map the Easter egg is most likely going to follow the same sort of step patterns as Mob of the Dead I'm just throwing that out there. I feel like the way that these maps are being designed nowadays, I think where it's gonna the Easter egg is gonna follow kind of mob the dead ish kind of route. And a lot of people are asking me, do you think there's going to be a boss fight at the end of this map, you know, to finish the last step of the Easter egg? And I would tell you yes. Now, in that interview, Jason said that they are a big fan of this boss fight kind of thing. They're implementing new kind of mechanics and see how the community likes it. And he said this, the one under Eisendrack went over really, really positively. So, you know, they're going to carry that over into next maps. Now, what we could actually be fighting for the boss fight, I feel like it could be one of those ginormous spiders that everybody's talking about. I feel like we could be fighting a huge spider. I'm just going to say that right now. The map has not come out yet. I'm just kind of throwing that out there. But we will find out when the map comes out April 19th. So this is kind of a shorter video, but I want to update you guys just on the basic information that we have about this map. It's going to be coming out April 19th, like I said. I just want to quickly update you because I'm working on some bigger videos about more in-depth zombie storyline stuff. So you have to give me time to work on that, but I want to quickly update you guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Make sure to do the like if you enjoyed this and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.